Okay, Gemini, this is going to be your career and finance read. So here we go. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity. Any messages need to come through for the collective sign of Gemini for this, their career and finance read. In Jesus' name, amen. One more shuffle. So, Gemini. Allowing radical acceptance as yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next. Why are you blocking what's wanting to come in? One off the bottom. Awakening. Oh my Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. Now, Libra got that same card. The words that are jumping off here for you guys is common sense. This is a practical path opening up. This is practicality. This is getting down to the brass tacks of it. So let's go to the Sacred Traveler Oracle card deck. One more shuffle. Here we go, Gemini. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing. I love this card. It always reminds me of Christmas and delivering presents like Mrs. Claus in there. Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. This is knowing who to rely on. That's where the common sense comes from. The one off the bottom. Surrendering to the journey, release control. Second air sign in the row that had releasing control. Surrendering. So let's do everyday witch tarot for you guys. One more shuffle. Okay, check the time here. Seven of Pentacles, the Star Chariot, Queen of Swords, High Priestess, Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and Seven of Wands. That's what I'm saying. Now listen, there's certain things here certain times where you don't have to rely on your intuition like your intuition is much about common sense that is as it is this internal nudge going one direction or the other when you need the internal nudge it's because it works against common sense if that makes sense no, I'm repeating myself. Anyway, this though is about it's almost like doing what you've always done. This is going back to original skill sets. This is what this is. Going back to original skill sets, going changing careers, but at the same time, not so much. It's almost like you took a break from this. Now you're able to return. That's where the common sense comes in. Because it's like, duh, what can I do? This is what I, can, what I can do. And it's planting new seeds here, but it's getting a different kind of attention, the star. Because, okay, there are times when we step into our life's purpose or career, you know, we step into it, but at the time, we're not ready for it. 
So it's too big for us. It's like putting on clothes that isn't our size. So we then have to go on another journey of growth to be able to grow into it. And I feel like this is what's happening here. The star is about healing, but it's about getting recognition, getting the right kind of attention. And there's that fast movement forward. Queen of Swords is being very standing in your power, taking authoritative decision making over this process. High Priestess, like I said, this isn't always like relying on your intuition. Sometimes logic is that intuition. This is why these two cards should always go together. High Priestess and Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is that perpetual student. It's being the student. It's learning more. It's upgrading your skill set. But this is growth. Maturity. <coughs> And it's also about listening because my ear is irritating me. Every time it does that, when I sit here, someone's not listening. So, okay, if you're going to rely on, I need a sign. I need a sign. Sometimes the signs are practical things. Like I said, intuition, intuition can be just as much about logic. as anything else so you don't need that you don't need big banners you don't need what is that old story that's and I've told this story before um, a flood was going through a town they were evacuating all the people a man was on top of his roof and he kept praying for God to save him they sent one boat by first boat came by and when the boat came by, the boat yelled to the man on top of the roof, Do you need help? Do you need, you know, we're evacuating. Do you need help? Oh, no, no. Help's coming. First boat left. Second boat came. Repeated the same thing. Third boat, same thing happened. The man ended up drowning, went to heaven. In heaven, he asked God, Why didn't you save me? And God said, Are you kidding? I sent you three boats. So sometimes we're looking for dreams and visions and banners and birds to show up to tell us when we know what we're supposed to be doing. We know which direction we're supposed to be going. We already know this because if you are a student of your own life, one of the, one of the classes is that common sense. Putting your nose to the grindstone. Knowing what needs to be done. And so it's not all banners and, you know, screaming from the rooftops or signs and, you know, it's not all that. Here's four of, or five of cups and ace of pentacles. And this is something from your past. Like I said, it's returning to something that you used to do in the past. This is returning to the old job, returning to the old career, but walking in and knowing more than what you knew then. So this is being able to fit into the clothes now and having, and it's not even just walking back and going back there. That's Ace of Pentacles is a completely different door opening. This could be going back in as leadership now. Ten of Wands, a lot of words under the bridge. Seven of Wands. See, there's going to be a lot of people that have something to say about this. Your return. They are. They're going to have a lot to say about it. They've had a lot to say in the past. You have to put that burden down. Seven of Wands is clearing the decks. You're going to have to make it known that you don't care what anyone else's opinions are. That this is about you. This could even be in your social circle, family, friends, um, romantic partners that have something 
to say about this this repeat because that's how what I feel like they're gonna say is wow it's like we're doing this all over again but this time going back in it's gonna be completely different though like I said you've grown into it now you've grown into the position but you've not even grown into that position you've grown into a position over it because this ace of pentacles I keep feeling like it's a higher position than the one you left and you're going back in in a leadership capacity but you're going to have to set them straight you're going to have to clear the decks you're going to have to tell friends you're going to have to tell family you're going to have to tell them this isn't your journey and see that's the thing too I've never seen this surrendering to the journey is surrendering to your journey it's not anyone else to tell you how to navigate this. It's your journey. You don't surrender to their idea of the journey. You surrender to your journey, period. So you're going to have to tell them this. Now, the sanctuary... Is knowing that you're supposed to be there. And it's not, I'm telling you, like whoever this is for, I feel like you're looking for big signs and you're looking for this, like God to send you a personal email. It's not going to send you an email. I feel like he sent you multiple boats already. You're just going to have to know that and being, you're going to have to be comfortable in the fact that this is the direction you're heading and don't question it. And I feel like it's going back. This could even be going back to school to learn more, but I don't feel like it's that. I feel like it's going back to an old position that you had, but walking in into this authoritative position a higher position than the one you left. Because this is a new door. Completely new door. So for the collective sign of Gemini. And see that's the thing too. Because others before I go because they have something to say about this okay your reaction has been to block this because of other people's opinions of this that's the thing common sense here would tell you everything's good everything's good but it's not up to them it's up to you even me telling you this is where you're supposed to be going. When you watch tarot card reads or you get a prophecy from a prophet, you um, get spiritual insight, whatever. The only reason or the only moment that you are to say absolutely yes is when it confirms to your spirit. There could be a clear indication that it's your story, but it has to confirm with you. The decision making is still yours. I feel like, though, other people are trying to influence this. That's why you're cutting... It's not even cutting it off, but you're blocking it. But there's new seeds to be planted here. And there's something that wants to come in. Because I feel like this is a new opportunity in doing what you've done in the past. But a higher opportunity, a new door... And that could be too. Like the reason they don't want you doing it is because it takes you away from them. It takes you away from what they want you to do. And it takes away the attention off of them. But this is, it's like a new old opportunity. But in a higher position. And if you're not walking into this position, you're going to be walking in there shortly after walk, going back. 
I think they've been trying to bait you to come back for a minute anyway. And when you do, there's an energy of like fast movement upward. Because you have a place that you are needing to be. So for the collective sign of Gemini, this is your career and finance read. Love and light.